Hello everyone and welcome back. As we are getting ready for our meetup on Thursday about is Saf Blazer ready for production, we wanted to do a series of quick videos showing a different functionality on Saf Blazer. So let's get to it. Right here we have a project that is just blank new project. The only thing that I have done with it is I add a customer class, the customer class that I always use that is name, address, active, birthday, salary, nothing crazy. And in the updated using Bugos, that is the novel packet. I have another video on my channel about this. I created some sample data around 1000 records. So let's run it for a second. Let's see the result and then we go from there. Okay, here we go. Admin. It's important to mention that SAF Blazor always only asks for the username and password the first time. After that, by cookie, it authenticates your, yourself. And the other thing, if you saw that was a quick exception, if you target your project to Net5, that won't happen. But the only issue about that, if you put Net5 in your server pro, uh, project, then the model won't work. So, few times I go back and forward. I put in Net5 when I want to deploy, but in development I live in Nutcare 3. So right here we see we have 1000 record with a few data, salary, birthday and so on. You see we can move the columns ordered but we cannot decide on the width for example. So let's make that one our first video. Let's change the width and for that one we're gonna follow this uh, documentation that the Express provides. So pretty much let's copy this code. There is a controller that sets the data grid model column resize mode so we can move it. Let's open here. Let's go to our Blazor project. Let's add a controller. There's a matter, class one, and let's copy it here. And let's paste it here. Let's add the usings. We don't need this initialized component. We don't need this partial class. We're not using the designer here. And that's it. So let's see if I can. Okay, this is running, that's why, let's stop it. Let's just, I don't know why my code root is not working right here, so let's just, perfect. So if you see here, pretty much we are getting the editor on the view, that is going to be a type grid list editor. From there we get the adapter, and then we set the column precise mode. So if we run this now, Same exception as before. Put your product in Net5 and that won't happen. If you see now, we have this new way that we can actually modify the width of the grid. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's continue to see other configuration of the grid. Okay, how about if we want to add the summaries? Let's check again another Ticket on the support center and right here, let's follow the step that uh, Gosha provides us. So pretty much again, we're going to add another view controller. Let's copy this. Mm -hmm. And let's paste it here. Now, if you see here, it's using a another Razor component, so we'll need to add that one. So let's add Razor component, and let's call it exactly as here. Data, grid, 
four error summary. Now let's go and copy the code over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's try to format this a little bit better. Perfect. Okay, if you let's take a look quickly at the code, and I don't know why my code switch is not working. I have to stop the application. Nothing. I don't know why. Okay. Let's just change the name manually. Here we go. Okay, pretty much if you see here, we're asking if the footer is visible in the model and if the editor is a grid list editor, it will go get the adapter and then use that component that we just created and it will pass the columns of our view. So let's come back here and if you see that it's going and doing a for each for every column and then checking if there is summary in that column. And then it's a doing his logic. So then if we already have this, let's compile for a second. Let's wait for it. Okay, perfect, everything compiled. So let's go now to the model in our server application. And let's go to our customer list view. Right here. So now, here, let's add is footer visible through. And let's add, add, let's go to the columns and just put it here on the footer. So, and let's run it and see. Login. And here we go. We have here the sum. And let's come back, for example, and put the name just as a test count. And let's run it again. And that's it. We can see the count here. We have one self and record. And that will be it for this video. I'm going to continue with a, a few more about tool tips, about custom log authentication, about any other interesting ticket that we have seen in the support center. Until next time, uh, Safa out.